with full actual practices now going on. I think the Chargers just had their full or their first full padded practice yesterday at the time of this recording. Um, we've heard about it from the media. We've heard about it from you know uh, insiders with the Chargers about how quickly Jim Harbaugh has changed the culture there. But now we're getting to see these interviews of players, you know, J.K. Dobbins, Joey Bosa, Khalil Mack, Justin Herbert, uh, Quentin Johnston, all of these guys. And they look 180 degrees different, polar opposite from the way they, they, they look, they talk, their, their body um, language, everything got flipped on its head from a year ago and there's so much room for optimism for Chargers fans Jim Harbaugh bringing over a lot of the guys from Michigan from a great culture where they didn't have the most talent out of any team it was focused on being a family being physical and being a disciplined team we're seeing that already with the Chargers and it was funny. You see, uh, Joey Bosa had an interview, and uh, he was asked about the Jesse Minter defense. What what are his thoughts on it? How's he been adapting to it? And I think one of the first comments he made was, "It's pretty good. You know, I'm not dropping back in man coverage anymore." Because that's just how twisted Brandon Staley had things there. It was just an absolute mess. So it's not like Harbaugh's doing anything crazy. He's just giving structure and having a high IQ of, okay, yeah, we're not going to take Joey Bosa and put him in coverage. We're not Khalil Mack, you're going to go after the quarterback. You know, these simple things that you would think every coach would understand, but apparently not based off of the last couple of years. Justin Herbert seems pretty happy. We're seeing him, you know, he's not getting out of any of the workouts that they've been doing. I think uh, one one of the insiders talked about how he was signing autographs for about half an hour, finally finished up, and then he went and did his bear crawls. You know, it's an accountability thing. With Harbaugh bringing over Ben Herbert, who, in my opinion, was the biggest reason for Michigan turning things around. Just their physical play. You can just see so many different highlights of Michigan pushing people around, physically just bullying them. That was Ben Herbert's doing. And I get the NFL is a lot different than college football because all these players have personal trainers and chefs and these things, but seeing your star quarterback that makes X amount of money a year not get out of doing bear crawls and tire flips and all these things, that's really good for camaraderie, and that's obvious. But we've seen a lot of these behind-the-scenes, you know, wired-up videos at their camps, you know, before they got into pads where Harbaugh was talking with Derwin James. Derwin James and Jim Harbaugh seem like they already have a great relationship, which is huge. And again, we've seen Joey Bosa and Khalil Mack both talk very highly of the new defense and their excitement for this year. Getting your three stars on defense, that pumped up. You know, the guys that are the leaders, huge. And I like that Harbaugh, he brought in J.K. Dobbins and he bought, brought in Gus Edwards, you know, two guys that played for his brother. I know J.K.'s had a lot of injury issues. But that was another thing. We just saw J.K. He talked uh, on a Chargers podcast about how, you know, he feels like he's back in college. He feels the healthiest he's been. He feels the happiest he's been in a while. And he's just excited to get the season going. You know, he's talked about how him and Harbaugh have kind of had a back and forth a little bit having some fun about the Ohio State-Michigan rivalry. It's going to be an exciting year. And the biggest thing for me was Harbaugh drafting Joe Alt at fifth overall. Because now you have Joe Alt, Rashawn Slater as your two offensive tackles that you could potentially have for another 8 to 10 years. Oh, yeah, Justin Herbert. You could also potentially have him for another 8 to 10 years. Giving your big franchise quarterback that kind of you know confidence and protection with two absolute stars, you know who knows how many Pro Bowls these guys are going to make in the next ten years combined. Um, 
it's going to be great. And I know, obviously, Mike Williams went to New York and Keenan Allen's in Chicago now. They get McConkie in the second round. Quentin Johnston's still there. They're going to be all right. The receiving receiving core, they're going to get their touches. They're going to build off of the run game, get some play action going, and it's going to work. And their schedule, the way I think they play Vegas, and they play one other really easy team to start the year, and then they go to Kansas City, I think. They play Kansas City their third or fourth game. I think the NFL is setting up for an undefeated Kansas City Chiefs versus an undefeated Jim Harbaugh Chargers, which would be great for for viewership. And, I mean, I'd be excited to watch that. But it'll be really cool if L.A. can start the year really hot and we can get some hype built around Jim Harbaugh. You know, he's, he's already turned the team around from a year ago. Which, if you really think about it, the Chargers, yeah, they had a terrible record. They weren't just horrible. You know, so many close losses. That was due to poor coaching and poor game IQ. You know, poor game time decisions. Not going to have that with Jim. Not going to have a turnover problem. Blocking and tackling are going to be better. You know, if you're not winning the line of scrimmage, you're at least not going to get dominated on it. So... Who knows? They could be re- uh, they could be reaching the playoffs year one. Would not shock me at all if they go ten and seven, sneak in there. You know, dare I say eleven and six? We'll see. But Vegas isn't too hot right now. They've got their whole quarterback mess. Obviously, Denver's a dumpster fire. They just hired Peyton in there um, for eighteen million dollars a year. So if they finish second in that division and win 10, 11 games. Good chance they're sneaking into the playoffs, but a lot of room for optimism with LA. Huge culture shift, and uh, Jim Harbaugh is going to do a lot of great things for that for that franchise.